I have three kinds of things to say about Jacqueline and Marie Coyle Shapiro, Jackie. I think she's the only person I know personally who has not one, but two hyphenated parts of her name. Uh, but that's not one of the three things I'm going to talk about. The first is about her intellectual prowess. Although I won't dwell on that for very long because it's pretty obvious and well known. Jackie got an undergraduate degree, a master's degree at the University of Dublin, and then a PhD at the London School of Economics. She returned to the LSE as a faculty member after a short stint at Oxford. Uh, since then, her stellar academic work has enlightened us on topics such as psychological contracts, organizational citizenship behavior, organizational justice, and the employee organization relationship. She's been a sought after presenter and keynote speaker at conferences and workshops around the globe. She has also organized several such events and edited books from their output. Second, on that note about her organizational administrative skills, let me turn to her service to the academy. However, I have to start on a personal note. I have to, you see, because Jean said she wanted the introductions of new fellows to include something personal. That brings me to when I first met Jackie, which was at the academy, I think around 1998 or so. Jackie studies such things as reciprocity, so I feel like I'm returning a favor because Jackie has gone out of her way on many public occasions, once in front of thousands at an AOM meeting, to say that I was the first person to ever talk to her at the academy. I'm returning the favor by saying, I spoke to her because she'd made such an astute comment as an audience member during the session. Since then, she's risen through the ranks of the executive committee of the Organizational Behavior Division. Now she's president of the academy. I should add, the first ever as a UK-based scholar. My third point echoes what I've said about her intellectual prowess and her astute audience comment. The context comes from remarks by Richard Feynman, Nobel Prize-winning physicist. Feynman recalled that his mother never asked him what he'd learned at school each day, but whether he'd raised a good question. I recall that when I read some comments Jackie made about a highly contentious political subject. She was part of a host of distinguished scholars making comments. They all had many profound things to say. Jackie wrote only three short paragraphs, and in them, five questions. Very good, I'd even say excellent questions. Here's the last one as a sample. In the case of a professional association such as the Academy that is governed by volunteers, how can it manage the ideologically driven expectations of a global and diverse member base without fractionalization? Because she's the kind of person who can challenge us with good questions in both her scholarly work and in her service, I'm proud to see her as Academy president and I'm even prouder that she's now one of us as a new fellow.